Continuamos en Bancolombia con las entrevistas a los expertos internacionales que nos acompañan en esta celebración de WOPI 2021. Nuestro próximo invitado es Marshall Goldsmith. Marshall, welcome. Thank you so much. It's good to talk with you. For Bank Colombia, it's a pleasure to have you here. Oh. Thank you for joining us at this special moment we're having. Well, I'm very you. happy to be back out on the road again. <laughs> so, we have prepared this nice and fun game with these cue cards. Okay. So, would you mind choosing one of these? Amazing. So, the question is, who is the visionary from the past that you admire the most? How did they inspire or shape the ideas that we are seeing come true in our world today? Oh, in my case, that's quite easy. The visionary from the past was long past that inspired me the most is Buddha. I'm a Buddhist, mm -hmm. and my coaching is very much Buddhist. Mm -hmm. So the person that has inspired me the most is Buddha. A lot of what I teach involves Buddhism and a lot of my coaching involves Buddhism. My school is a simple school, be happy now, find peace now. The great western disease, I'll be happy when. When I get the money status, BMW, condominium, I will be happy when. We all have the same when. The essence of Buddhism is find happiness and peace now, where you are, not out there someplace. The motto of this event is the incredible now. How would you describe the incredible now? we're living in. Well, to me, that's a very Buddhist motto. Buddha was brought up very rich, and his father was a king. And he thought, well, he'd be happy if I kept giving him more. And he lived in a bubble. He was able to sneak outside the bubble three times. Mm -hmm. The first time he learned, people get old. Mm -hmm. Second time, people get sick. Number three, people die. Mm -hmm. Old, sick, die. All the money in the world, old, sick, die. So that sucks. <laughs> That's, that's not so good. You can't be happy with more. Then he thought, well, I'll try to be happy with less. He starved himself. You know what he found? Didn't work either. And finally, the essence of Buddhism is be happy with what you have. Be happy with what you have. Shall we continue with our game? So we have these other three cards. Let's see. In light of these extraordinary times that we're living in, which do you think is the acquired habit that has the highest potential for improving humanity's quality of life? And which habit has a negative impact on our daily lives? Well, I'll start with the negative. We've already talked about it. And I think that's media comparison, media addiction, uh, this sense of I have to be better than everyone else and show off and looking for some kind of validation from the outside that you're never going to find. On the positive side, there's a lot of good changes. For example, leaders are much more open to having coaches. They all need help. Why? Because we're humans. The top 10 tennis players have coaches, right? Well, it's not because they're losers. They're the top 10 tennis players in the world. They all have multiple coaches. Why? They're trying to get better. So I think this is a very positive trend. Leaders are getting out of that. I have to show off and pretend to be perfect nonsense, which nobody is anyway, and starting back like human beings. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you so much. It was great having you here, and we hope to see you another time. Oh, thank you. <laughs>